Hello. In this video, I will show you how to complete question 1 on the specimen 2017 paper 9626 paper 4. Question 1. You work for International Ski Tours, IST. IST are a company that runs ski tours all over the world. You are going to carry out several tasks for the company. Open each of the following files and inspect the image or data. These files will be used in part of the tasks you have been set. I have already checked all of these files myself. I would strongly advise that you do the same as well. Once you have inspected them, please close the files. It says create a logo for IST. I will use Adobe Photoshop to create this logo. So I'll open Photoshop, File, New, and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it IST underscore logo. Because they haven't specified a canvas size for me, I'm going to leave it as 1024 by 768 pixels and press OK. And I get a window that looks a little bit like this. Back to the question. The question says, use two circles as the background. Make one circle larger with a smaller circle inside it. The larger circle must be light blue and the smaller circle dark blue. There must be a suitable distance left between the smaller and larger circle to insert the company's name. So, the first thing I do is I will create a new layer from here by clicking on this. Alternatively, I could also go to Layer at the top, click on Layer, New and Layer. And it brings me to exactly the same place. I'm going to call this Large Underscore Circle and then I'm going to press OK you'll see my layer appears on the right hand side here. I need to draw a circle. So, the first thing I will do is I will change the color to light blue, like so, and press OK. Then I will go to the Shapes tool and select the Ellipse tool. I'm going to press Shift on my keyboard. By pressing Shift, clicking down and dragging, it makes sure that the, sh the shape that you are drawing is in perfect proportion. It doesn't look squashed, it doesn't look stretched, etc, etc. I click on the black arrow and I'm just going to bring this in the center a little bit there. You can see the free transform tool is around the edge of the circle. Now, I want the identical circle but smaller. So what I will do is I will right click on my layer here and I will duplicate the layer. But this one I will call small circle and I will remove copy because I don't need it. And I'm going to press OK. Now, I need to make this circle smaller and it needs to be blue. To help guide me, I'm going to change it to blue first and then I'm going to resize it. So, I know I'm on the smaller circle layer because it's highlighted in blue here. I'm simply going to go here, make it into a darker blue. It's fine. I'm going to use the fill tool and it will ask me to rasterize the image. I click on it, I press OK, then I fill it again and it works. Again, I click on the black arrow, the free transform tool appears, press Shift on my keyboard, keep it pressed, just make it smaller and you'll see that the circle is right there, the light blue circle is right there in the background and I'm just going to add this there like so. Leave room at the top because they say you're going to add some text there. Click on the black arrow, and as soon as I click on it, it will say, do you want to apply this transformation? Yes, I do. Done. Back to the question. The question says that now what I must do is draw a white outline to represent a picture of three mountains inside the smaller circle. So, I'm going to change my text to white. It's going to be white. I'll press OK. Then I'm going to insert a new layer, call it MTN, okay, and then I'm going to choose either the pencil or the brush, you can use either one, I'm just going to use the pencil tool, I'm going to resize my brush to 4 pixels, click down here, and quite simply 
freehand drawing of an outline of three mountains like that is okay perfect back to the question insert the company's name in the space between the smaller circle and the larger circle the text must fit and go around the smaller circle from left to right covering covering approximately the top half of the circle so I'm simply going to add a new layer call this one text press OK select the text tool from here okay and wherever you see a menu like this I don't need to go horizontal but if you had to go horizontal you could pick it from here but I just, uh, vertical, sorry, I mean, if you wanted to go to vertical, you could go vertical here. But I need to be horizontal, so I'm going to select this. I'm going to click over here. I'm going to type in the company name. Ski Tours. Okay, not Ski Tours. Make sure you type it in correctly. Uh, select the black arrow and just move it down a little bit so you can see all of it. Now, we need this to arc around here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the T in my layer and you will see that this menu appears at the top. From here I'm going to select the warp menu which is like a T with an arc underneath it. And you'll get this menu called warp text. Where there's the style drop the arrow down and select arc. Okay. And at this stage you can make it arc more or less up to you. Okay. I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to press OK choose the black arrow and just bring it down a little bit there okay if you think it's not right I'm just gonna adjust it slightly and make it a little bit smaller okay like so and just there I'm happy with that okay again it will say to me when I click on this do I want to apply the transformation yes I do done now it also says in the question that the text should be a suitable color I've already done that and add an outline and a shadow to the text so where my layer is in the gr in this empty space here if I double click okay it brings an um, option a menu called layer style I'm going to add a drop shadow but when I tick this box keep an eye on this here you'll see the shadow appear okay and I also need an outline around the text so for that from the same menu I'm going to select stroke and you'll see there's an outline around the text if you think it's too big okay you can change it by clicking on the stroke and changing the pixel size change it to 2 I'm happy with 2 press OK and that's the text done back to the question the question says that I need to draw two skis and add them to the logo. The skis must be the correct size to fit the large circle. Make the skis cross over at the bottom as shown in the picture below. So you can see this, we've got to draw this. Now, I'm not a very good drawer, so this is possibly the hardest bit for me. Okay, I'm simply going to go here, new layer, I'm going to call it skis. And press OK. And then to draw the skis, I'm going to choose change my color to black. Press OK. I'm going to choose the brush pencil tool like I did before. And quite simply, I'm going to draw a shape that goes from here like this. Oh, didn't do that too good, so I'm going to try that again. come in all the way to the bottom okay and they've got a cross so I'm gonna take this one like this then I'm not a perfect drawer Ooh. I'm gonna draw that again because my arm slipped So, uh, I'm happy with that. 
The question says, place the skis in front of the larger circle and smaller circle, but behind the mountains and text. So all I will do now is I will click on skis and I will move it down. So it appears there. Okay, if I move up, okay, just above the mountains, it's in front of the mountains, but I need it behind the mountains. So as you can see, the difference is everything is now behind, all, both skis are behind the mountains and the text. Next the question says, resize the image to 150 pixels by 150 pixels. So I will go to image, image resize. Now, if this box is ticked and I change it to 150, okay, this maintains the aspect ratio. So it changed the bottom one as well. But I don't need it to maintain the aspect ratio, so I untick consta uh, constrain proportions. And I change this to 150, and I press OK, and the image is small like this. Back to the question, it says, save the logo as a JPEG with the file name IST underscore logo, followed by your center number and candidate number. So, I'm going to go to File, Save As. I'm going to change it to a JPEG, like so. It's called IST logo, but I just need to add underscore. Um, I'm going to change the center number to 0000, zero, zero, zero underscore 1234, which is my candidate number. Okay, and I'm going to click on save. Press OK, and that's done. Click on the X, just close it. Say yes. Okay. Save it as a Photoshop file as well, just in case you need to come back and make changes later on. And click on Save, press OK, and that's done. That is the end of question one. Question two, you need to understand the differences between bitmap and vector images. You should be able to understand how uh, they make a difference, what the differences are between them. You should be able to give advantages and disadvantages of bitmap and vector graphics. And you should be able to give a short explanation on which image, JPEG, sorry, a vector or a bitmap would be useful for cer in certain scenarios. Disadvantages, disadvantages, it's always good to know these. So please make sure you do sufficient revision on this chapter here. Okay, you can find it in the book in the graphics creation section. Okay, because this is worth 10 marks. And that is the end of this video. I will put question 3 in a separate video. Thank you for listening.